So I wanted to do a video covering what possibly to me is the most common and biggest mistake that I see people uh, encounter when they're learning web scraping. So obviously when you're learning something new, you're gonna come across things that you need to figure out and how to get through and work out. And the most common way of solving these problems, especially with code, is going to Google. And that's the biggest problem with this specific error is that it's not descriptive enough for you to know how to start to actually Google it. So you can get really stuck. So the thing I'm talking about is the attribute error. It says none type object has no attribute text. Now, if you were to take this error that you get from, say you're trying to scrape some website that's HTML or something like that, and you take this error and you put it into Google, you're not gonna get any helpful results. And there's a good reason for that. Okay, so an attribute error in Python is when you try to call an attribute from an object that doesn't exist or isn't supported. What that means in this case is that when we try to get the text from an object, we actually don't have an object to get the text from, so you get the attribute error. Now that's the biggest clue about how to fix this. So why do we see this error so often? It's basically because when you're trying to scrape data from the web, it's not going to be structured. It's not going to be all nice and neat in the same way like it would be if it came out of an API. If you pull some data from an API and a specific part of, data, part of the data isn't there, you usually still get that key, which indicates that there is nothing there. So you can still work through it. But when you're pulling actual data from websites, you can't pull the text from an element that doesn't exist. But what will happen is it'll just come back as none. And then when you try to do .text, that's when you get this attribute error, non-type text does not exist. So that's the biggest thing you need to think. Am I actually trying to get an element that doesn't exist? Perhaps you're looping through lots of multiple different pages uh, and you checked out the first couple and they all have this piece of information in, but maybe one down the line doesn't. That's when you get things like when you're printing it out to your terminal, you print out all your results as you go along, as you're working through what you're doing, and all of a sudden you get this error. That's a dead giveaway. That means whatever product or whatever page was after the one that worked last, that's the one that doesn't have whatever that piece of information is that you're trying to get. So I've got a couple of examples here that I'm just going to show you. So this one's got the error on it. And you can see that I'm trying to get this product, uh, this title from here, um, from this product. And when I run this, you'll see that I get this attribute error here. And that is because in this case, this website is fully JavaScript, which means this element just does not exist whatsoever. Because it's all JavaScript, it's all run and rendered in our browser. And of course, when we use requests, we're not actually using our browser. We're just sending a request directly to the server on the website that the server's on to get the information. So in this case, what we would need to do is, is go ahead and just double check in the source, the view source, that the element we're looking for actually is there. And then obviously it's not. So we need a different approach entirely to this website. If you're interested in that, I've got a video which I'll put somewhere down there about how to scrape JavaScript sites like this. There are a few options. The second example I've got here is one that I discussed a bit earlier in the video where I was showing you that maybe this whatever product that you've got doesn't actually have that uh, information in it so you get this attribute error back. So this product here, you see I'm trying to get the uh, number of reviews and the price of the item. Fairly common things, but this one here doesn't actually have a review number. So what that means is when we run this and we try to get the number of reviews from a product that doesn't have that element, that doesn't have that number, we're just gonna get this attribute error, none type does not exist. And that's where it gets really confusing because unless you're looking specifically at all the pages you're trying to scrape, which you won't be because you're trying to scrape all the data from them, not read them manually one by one, you won't see and you won't understand necessarily what that problem is. So hopefully you understand now what that error actually means and how you can fix it. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna double check the pages that you're going to, that you're trying to get the information from and make sure that element exists. Make sure that the selector that you're using is correct. Try a different way or try a different one or um, go back up the tree, the DOM tree and try and print something out and double check that that's working. And also make sure that the website that you're, you're trying to scrape is uh, accessible to this method with HTML scraping. Or if you've pulled the, um, 
the the HTML down fry, via uh, browser or maybe use the render in request HTML just make sure that of course that element is there that you're trying to get out if you found this video interesting I think you're gonna like this one here too which talks about more web scraping techniques